Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and to another installment in the Sydney Railroad build. If you're watching last week, you'll have seen me lay track in the paper mill area. This week, it's time to get all that wired up, get all the switch machines installed, get the quad ends programmed. Unlike previous areas of the railroad, there are no control panels for the paper mill. Instead, all the controls are mounted in the fascia, just opposite the turnouts. The reason for the difference being that whereas before the fascia was far too narrow for the number of controls required, but there was plenty of space underneath in the airspace over the staging yards. Not only does a paper mill have a scenic area below where I don't want to have control panels in the way, but also the fascia is deeper and there are fewer controls per foot. So there's plenty of space to install them that way. Anyway, without further ado, let's just head out to the workshop and get to work. Well, I am now in the dispatcher's office and I have been hooking up feeders. I started at the far end of the paper mill and I worked my way through over the top of the helix and I've got as far as here. So I think I'm about halfway there. It's after six o'clock. I'm going to go in now and get Zeus fed. And I'm going to come back out and continue tomorrow. It's Tuesday morning and I started off by doing a bit of a clean up and then I've been working steadily all morning and I have all the feeders hooked up properly at both ends. I haven't run a locomotive over everything yet, that'll be a job for this afternoon. For the two isolating sections I've got all the wires in but I've just got temporary jumpers to bypass where the switches are going to go. Here's one, if we look underneath, you can see the yellow and the orange. The yellow is the main bus, and then the orange is the isolating section. So that jumper will come out when I'm ready to put the switch in, but I don't know exactly where it's gonna be yet. I know within a few inches. And then the other one, the other one down here, I think it's going to be somewhere between these two joists. See those screws there and those there, but I don't know yet. I have plenty of length on the wires and I've just put a crimp connector on the end just to get continuity. I've still got to cut the gaps in the rails. Here's one and the other one down the other end. And I've still got a few rail joints to solder because there's a few places where there's really short pieces of track and I'm just going to solder them to the adjacent piece instead of putting extra feeders in. But that will all be a job for this afternoon. I'm going to go in and get some food and I'll see you again later. Well, I have cleaned the track and test run my locomotive over everything. I did have a few stalls, but that's because it's a short wheelbase locomotive and the frogs are not wired up yet. But no mechanical issues, everything runs flawlessly. Next task, I think, is to start working on switch machines. I'll get those installed. I don't suppose I should get many of them wired up today, but let's just start installing them and see how far I get. Well, that is all 24 switch machines installed physically. The first 10 were easy because I was able to do those sitting on a chair inside the helix. After that, they started to get, shall we say, a little more challenging, especially those two at the back there and these two at the end of the ladder here, where it was just about impossible to get the drill into the right place. I had to get very inventive. Anyway, I managed it eventually with only one four letter S word. So I'm quite pleased with myself for that. Next, I've got to see about getting them wired up. And I think the best way to proceed now is to put the fascia on because that way I can mount the permanent controls as I go instead of having to do it temporarily. Well, I went inside and took a break for a few minutes. And while I was sitting down gathering my thoughts, I changed my mind. 
I'm not going to install the fascia right now. Instead, I'm just going to temporarily mount the fascia controllers. I'll just take them in place. But what I do need to do now is get the quad LM boards mounted. And as always, I'm gonna build drop down panels for that. There's gonna be two inside the helix that will take that end of the yard. There'll be one on this section. It may as well be in the middle. And there'll be another one about here for the four turnouts at this end. I'm not sure if I've got enough hinges, but I can at least get started. So I'm gonna get on with that and I'll talk to you again later. Well, I found two pairs of hinges. So I've got the two drop down panels along the fascia. I'm gonna to have to leave the other one inside the helix until tomorrow because I don't have any more hinges. But I am going shopping tomorrow anyway. So I'll get a bunch then. It's six o'clock now anyway, so I'm gonna go in, get Zeus fed, and I will come out and continue tomorrow. Stay tuned and I'll see you then. Well, so far today, I have got all four of the paper mill quad LM boards wired up and working and programmed. And I've also programmed the four turnouts that are on this board. After lunch, I'm going to move on to the next one. I elected to use four quad LM boards when theoretically three would be enough because it means that I can greatly reduce the number of turnouts that are wired across bench work joints. And that will make it a lot easier to reassemble the railroad in Sydney and definitely justifying the cost of the extra board. Doing it this way with four boards, there's only two turnouts that are wired across a bench work joint as opposed to eight. If I tried to save one board and do it with only three. Well, I now have all 24 turnouts in the paper mill area uh, with all the switch machines hooked up, programmed and working mechanically. I haven't done any of the frog wiring yet, but time has caught up with me and that will be a task for tomorrow. I also need to do a lot more neatening up of the wires at this end. And I can't really do that till the fascia's in. So although I made a conscious decision to delay that, I'm going to have to go back and do it. But that probably won't be till next week because I suspect tomorrow I will need all day to get the frogs wired up. You probably can't see any changes, but this morning I was very productive and I got all 24 of the switch machines in this area wired up with the frogs electrically connected and tested everything, both routes, through every turnout. This afternoon, the first thing I want to do is get the two isolating switches in, the one for the yard lead at this end and the other one for the engine service track at this end. Then I'll cut the rail gaps and then test it to make sure they're working. So let me get on with that and I'll be right back. Well, it didn't take very long to get those switches in and tested. Here's one of them. The other one is at the other end by the helix. I decided I'm going to spend the rest of this afternoon getting the fascia on so that I can mount these toggle controls permanently in the right places. Especially along here where I've got to do some more engineering work to be able to get the wires off the helix out of the way. Of course on this section the fascia drops down two and three quarter inches below the frame. So that's why I have all these blocks in. Put those in first and then while the glue is setting on those I will do the fascia at the other end that doesn't, have, that doesn't need the blocks. So let me get on with that and I'll talk to you again later. Well, that only took a few minutes to get those two pieces on. Got to leave those clamps on for a while, let the glue set up. And these I also need to leave on a bit longer, or quite a lot longer actually. In fact, these I think I want to leave overnight. On the straight section, I, th I think I can get rid of them in an hour or two and then continue working there. But the ones on the curve, since this fascia is going to be trying to spring straight, it's going to put quite a lot of tension on those joints. So that's why I want to leave those overnight. So I'm just going to go inside, come out again a bit later, and I'll talk to you then. 
Well, I went in for most of the afternoon, worked on a layout design inside. And now I've come back and added these three pieces of fascia around this S bend. I had to put a few screws in to hold it because it, I, couldn't get, I couldn't get the clamps in the right place. They just don't have enough reach. And also I didn't want it sliding on the curve, which could easily happen. You know, those screws are gonna stay in until tomorrow. And then once they're out, the holes will just be spackled, the same as the joints. That's what I'm gonna to do today. I'm gonna to go in now and come back out and finish the job. Actually, tomorrow's Saturday, so I'll finish the job on Monday. Stay tuned, and I'll see you then. Well, yesterday, I got the fascia in about 20-something feet in front of the paper mill. I spackled most of the imperfections, got it painted, and got all the switch machine controls installed in it in the proper uh, fascia mounts. This morning I have tested it to make sure they all still work. I did have one that was hooked up backwards, which is why I test. I don't yet have the mounting cups for the two isolating switches which is why they're just hanging loosely in the holes right now. I had Robin Becker of N3iX custom build some, which is now added to his online store, n3iX.com. It's a mounting cup that fits in a one inch hole and allows the switch to be inset so it doesn't stick out and snag passing elbows. But those are still en route. I haven't received them yet. I'll install them as soon as I do. Well, that is all those switch machine controls hooked up out of the way of the Helix. Some of these needed to be glued in because they just didn't want to stay. But I'm now ready to reinstall the top on that area and call that job done. Well, that's all for this week. Hope you enjoyed the video, found it useful or interesting or both. I really think those mounting cups for those toggle switches really help to improve the situation. They're a whole lot better than mounting them straight on the fascia as I did on my previous railroad. And I think they are well worth the extra few dollars expense. Anyway, as I mentioned earlier, N3iX has now added them to their range. So they're available online at n3iX.com. Well, I'm just going to sign off now, and I hope to see you back next week, where I plan to do a tour of the paper mill area, and explain exactly what each track is for. I'm sure it will be a lot of fun, and I hope to see you back here for that. So in the meantime, thanks for watching, and bye for now.